I'm Bailey, founder of Ring Crush, and this is my YouTube channel, The Million Dollar Etsy Shop. Today, I'm going to be going over common situations where your customers can get really upset with you, and I'm going to tell you what you should be doing about it. The best way to avoid unhappy customers is, quite frankly, to have clearly set policies for you and your employees to follow. And what do I mean by policies? Policies are like rules that you'll follow in the event of things like returns, exchanges, and shipping problems. So depending on what you sell, I recommend setting perhaps a 60-day return policy while requiring your customer to pay to ship the item back to you. And in the event of an exchange, you should also ask the customer to pay return shipping, but you should cover the cost to return the new item back to them. I found that this is typically acceptable for my customers, but if your customer is really unhappy for perhaps a quality issue or some mistake that you made, it's always best for you to pay for the return label to avoid an unproductive, time-consuming, back-and-forth situation. For domestic shipping policies, the main concern here is for when your shipping carrier has delays or loses your package. This will depend on your comfort level, but typically it's good practice to replace any packages that are clearly lost in the mail. So for example, if USPS tracking hasn't updated in like three weeks, it's probably not going to make it to your customer. Just make sure that you have a policy to address this situation and you'll be able to handle it with no problem. So now that your policies are set, you'll be way better equipped to handle difficult situations which leads to our next topic of what to do when you have an extremely rude or angry customer. The best and first thing you should do in this situation is to remain friendly. Oftentimes when you respond to an angry message from a customer, simply just being helpful and friendly will create a calming environment, which will usually quickly diffuse the situation. Also, be sure to show sympathy for their situation as well, and if all else fails and you find it difficult to be friendly and sympathetic, go for the robot approach, copying and pasting your set policies. No one likes to be angry with a robot, so if you can show that you will be a robot about the situation, they will typically treat you like one and be more productive to achieve some sort of reasonable resolution. Remember, every situation is different, and if you really, really messed up, take ownership of your mistakes. You can do this by offering a coupon code for their next order, or if they are asking for an exchange, perhaps include a few freebies and perhaps a handwritten apology for the problems that you caused. If you find your customers are consistently getting upset about the same things, it's likely you either need to revise your policies or revise how you make your items. Customer feedback is a very valuable thing that a lot of companies pay for. So try to look at an angry customer as a form of valuable feedback that you can use to better your shop. I hope this video will help you dealing with customers going forward. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and don't forget to like and to subscribe. Bye!